Hey everyone, so today we'll be going over class inheritance in Python. If you don't know what classes are, I made a quick one minute video explaining the very basic idea of classes. So if you need to, go check that out first and come back here. Okay, so here I have a class called character. When we instantiate it down here, we pass in values 100, 50, and 10, which correspond to health, damage, and speed in this init method. Then we set those input values as attributes of our character. Now remember the init method here is the constructor that automatically runs when we create a new instance of a class. The self parameter refers to the specific instance in memory we are dealing with, hence why we use this self at the beginning of these variables. All right, so down here I've got a couple of print statements. We first print the initial health of the warrior. Then we call the take damage method to take 40 damage, and then we print the health after damage has been taken. So when we run this, we get an initial health of 100 and health after damage of 60. All right, now this character class is just a little too basic to be used for all characters I may want to create. I still want all characters to have these basic attributes like health, damage, and speed, and this take damage method, but maybe I would want a warrior character to also have warrior-like skills that I wouldn't want to be applied to a ninja character, for example. To accomplish this, I'm going to create what's called a child class of this character class. This child class is going to be called warrior, and in parentheses, I'll add the character class. And I'll add a pass in here for now. Now down here, instead of calling the character class, I'll call the warrior class. Everything else, I'll leave the exact same. Now when we run this, you'll see that the output is the same as what we had before. That's because since this warrior class is a child of this character class, everything up here gets inherited into this warrior class. So when we call warrior with all these inputs, it goes to the warrior class, then runs the init method up here that was inherited from the character class. Same when we call the take damage method. Since the warrior class inherits it from the character class, we can call it also. All right, now I'll admit in its current state, this is pretty useless. Really, all we've done here is basically given a new name to the character class. So now let's actually modify this warrior class to give it a bit of extra functionality. So first, I'm gonna add an init method to our warrior class with health, damage, and speed as inputs. Doing this will override the init method from the character class. So if we just put a pass here and don't do anything, we now actually get an error. That's because when we try to print warrior.health, it wasn't able to find a health attribute because in this init method, we didn't do anything with these variables that got passed into it. So we still want all that basic character setup from our parent character class. To do that, in here, we could say super.dunderInit with health, damage, and speed as inputs. Anytime we use this super keyword, it refers to the current class's parent class. So this is calling character's init method and passing these variables into it. So now, when we run this, we get our same output, 100 initial health and 60 health after damage. Okay, so what? We already had this functionality just a second ago before adding this init method. So what's the point of adding it at all? Well, now we have the ability to create warrior only attributes for this class. For example, in here, I'm gonna add an attribute called toughness modifier and set it to 0.9. This is only an attribute I would want a warrior character to have. All other attributes got handled when we called the parent class's init method. Now to actually use it, let's create a method called take damage with amount as input. Again, because we've created a method that already exists as an inherited method from the parent class, we've now overridden any functionality this method had for our warrior class, but we'll fix that in a moment. In here, I want to compute a modified amount of damage the warrior takes. So I'll say modified amount is equal to amount times our toughness modifier. Then I can regain the functionality of this take damage method in the character class just by saying super dot take damage with this modified amount as the input. Okay, so now when I run the code, we get 64 remaining health since we added this toughness modifier to the take damage method in the warrior class. And the health subtraction takes place when we call the parents take damage method. 
All right, so hopefully by now you can see the usefulness of having child classes. I was able to reuse a bunch of the structure of this character class into this warrior class and include a few little warrior specific features. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And if you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.